in this lecture we will learn how to calculate the jacobians and what are the jacobians how do we write jacobians if you are interested to know how the jacobians arise and what are the jacobians then i have already uploaded an a youtube video youtube lecture where uh, the, uh, the title of the lecture is understanding jacobians so you can go to that lecture you particular that video and you will find how jacobians arise what are the jacobians what are jacobian matrix but here i will simply introduce how to write jacobian and how to calculate so let us introduce jacobians definition let u be function of x and y and v be some function of x and y then jacobian of u v let u is some function of x and y then jacobian of u and v with respect to x and y is denoted and defined by jacobian of u v with respect to x and y this is the standard symbol which means which we read jacobian of u v with respect to x and y and this is denote defined by a 2 by 2 determinant where we write del u by del x del u by del y del v by del x and del v by del y so how do we write there are two functions u and v and two variables x and y so first take the first function and find its partial derivative with respect to x then partial derivative with respect to y so write here in a row then take the second function find its partial derivative with respect to first variable and with respect to second variable and write in a second row so this will form a determinant of 2 by 2 and this is called jacobian of uv with respect to x and y similarly if u and v and w are functions of three variables similarly let u v and w be functions of x y and z then jacobian of u v and w with respect to x y and z is denoted by a 3 by 3 determinant del u by del x del u by del y del u by del z del v by del x del v by del y and del v by del z then finally del w by del x del w by del y and del w by del z so this is how we write determinant so write jacobians and in the same fashion if we have more variables in general in general if u is function of u some suppose u1 is function of x1 x2 and xn u2 be some function of x1 x2 and xn and finally let un be some function of x1 x2 and xn means there are n functions and n variables then jacobian of u1 u2 un with respect to 
x1 x2 xn is defined as the n by n determinant del u1 by del x1 means the trick is same take the first function and its partial derivative with respect to x1 x2 xn will be written in first row so del u1 by del x1 then del u1 by del x2 and finally del u1 by del xn then take the second function take the second function del u2 by del x1 del u2 by del x2 del u2 by del xn and then take the third function then take the fourth function and finally in the same fashion finally take the nth function del un by del x1 del un by del x2 and thus we will find the complete determinant del un by del xn so this n by n determinant is called jacobian of u1 to un with respect to x1 x2 xn this is how we define jacobian and how we calculate now we will take simple examples to calculate jacobians as a first example say it example 1 u is a function of r and theta u is equal to r cos theta and v is equal to r sin theta or you can also take it x and y as you are comfortable with x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta then find jacobian of x and y with respect to r and theta so as a thumb rule jacobian of functions with respect to their variables x and y are functions r theta are variables so we will find this we will find this jacobian of x y with respect to r theta this is given by the determinant del x by del r del x by del theta del y by del r del y by del theta then calculate these partial derivatives so del x by del r is cos theta del x by del theta is minus r sin theta del y by del r is sin theta and del y by del theta is r cos theta you can open the jacobian so you will get r cos square theta plus r sin square theta and taking r common we will get cos square theta plus sin square theta and cos square theta plus sin square theta is one so this is r so jacobian of x y with respect to r theta is r now we will take another example <coughs> so let y1 is equal to x2 x3 by x1 y2 is equal to x3 x1 x3 by x2 and y3 is equal to x2 x3 by x1 x2 by x3 so find the jacobian of find jacobian of y1 y2 y3 with respect to x1 x2 x3 so write the jacobian definition of the jacobian jacobian of y1 y2 y3 with respect to 
x1 x2 x3 this is equal to j del y1 by del x1 del y1 by del x2 del y1 by del x3 then del y2 by del x1 del y2 by del x2 and del y2 by del x3 then finally del y3 by del x1 del y3 by del x2 and del y3 by del x3 so find these partial derivatives and you can find it easily so del y1 by del x1 is minus x2 x3 by x1 square similarly del y1 by del x2 will be x3 by x1 and del y1 by del x3 will be x2 by x1 <clears throat> now similarly find the other partial derivative so del y2 by del x1 this is x3 by x1 del y2 by del x2 minus x1 x3 by x2 square and del y2 by del x3 is x1 by x2 similarly del y3 by del x1 is x2 by x3 and then x1 by x3 and finally minus x2 x1 by x3 square so you know how to solve the determinant but my solution to this question is take 1 by x1 square common from first row 1 by x2 square common from second row and 1 by x3 square common from third row so we will get 1 by x1 square x2 square x3 square and then x2 x3 x1 x3 x1 x2 then x2 x3 minus x1 x3 and x1 x2 and finally in the third row x2 x3 x1 x3 minus x2 x3 so now it is easier and you can take common x2 x3 from first row x1 x first column x1 x3 from second column x1 x2 from third column so these can be taken common so you will in general you will take x2 common two times x1 common two times x3 common two times so we will get this jacobian of y1 y2 y3 with respect to x1 x2 x3 this is equal to x1 square x2 square x3 square divided by x1 square x2 square x3 square and minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 so you can find the you can see that x1 square x2 square x3 square are all are, these are cancelled out and you can simply find this determinants so this will become 4 and finally we have the answer so now we will take another example if u is equal to x square v is equal to y square then find the jacobian of uv with respect to x and y so this is simpler question i should have taken it first but anyway let us solve it so jacobian of uv with respect to x and y so i have already written the, the definition of jacobian many times so first element will be del u by del x second element will be del u by del y then del v by del x and del v by 
del y. So we have del u by del x, 2x del u by del y is 0, del v by del y, del x is 0 and del v by del y is 2y. So our answer is 4xy. Now we will take a more sophisticated question. Now we will consider this is our example 4. If u is given by x minus y by 1 plus xy and v is given by tan inverse y minus tan inverse x, then find the Jacobian of uv with respect to x and y. So we already know how to write the 2 by 2 Jacobian or Jacobian for two functions. So Jacobian of u and v with respect to x and y is ux, uy, vx, vy. Now partial derivative of x, partial derivatives of v are easy to find but partial derivative of u will take some space. So we will calculate it separately. So let us calculate it. So what is ux? ux means partial derivative of u with respect to x and I hope you already know how to calculate partial derivative 1 plus xy into 1 minus x minus y into y by 1 plus xy whole square. So this comes out to be 1 plus y square and divided by 1 plus xy whole square. Similarly, partial derivative of u with respect to y is 1 plus xy minus 1 minus x minus y into x divided by 1 plus xy whole square and this comes out to be minus of 1 plus x square divided by 1 plus xy whole square. Now put these partial derivatives to calculate Jacobian. So Jacobian becomes 1 plus y square by 1 plus xy whole square minus 1 plus x square divided by 1 plus xy whole square and then partial derivatives of v with respect to x so this is minus 1 by 1 plus x square and partial derivative of v with respect to y so this is 1 by 1 plus y square and you can open it it will become 1 by 1 plus xy whole square minus 1 by 1 plus xy whole square and that is finally 0. So our Jacobian is 0. Now we will take some more questions. So this will be our last example in this section. Let u1 is given by x1 by xn and u2 be given by x2 by xn similarly un minus 1 is given by xn minus 1 by xn and there is a relation x1 plus x2 plus xn is equal to 1 then we are required to find the Jacobian of Jacobian of u1, u2, un with respect to x1, x2, xn. So let us find this. So as a thumb rule, you know that in order to find this Jacobian, you need to calculate par all partial derivatives of first order for all the functions u1, u2, un. So first let us calculate uh, partial derivative for u and to have an idea how will this come. So you know that x1, x2, x3, xn sum to 1. So but there are only n minus 1 functions u1, u2, un. 
n minus 1 functions n variables are n so we will take xn as a function of x1 x2 xn means xn can be written as 1 minus x1 minus x2 minus x3 and minus xn minus 1 so now xn is a function of x1 to xn minus 1 so we we will differentiate xn with respect to all of these variables now take u1 so del u1 by del x1 del u1 by del x1 so you can write u1 as uh, immediately you can see u1 is function of x1 and xn so u1 can be differentiated with respect to both but xn is function of x1 to xn minus 1 so we will apply chain rule so first differentiate u1 with respect to x1 apply the product rule so as a product rule when you differentiate x1 it comes out to be 1 by xn then you differentiate xn so minus x1 by xn square and del xn by del x1 this is what i was trying to say so del xn by del xn by del x1 is what minus 1 so this will become 1 by xn plus x1 by xn square or you can take 1 by xn square common so 1 by xn square and this will become x1 plus xn similarly when you calculate del u1 by del x2 so x1 will remain constant and only xn will be differentiated so this will become minus x1 by xn square and del xn by del x2 that means x1 by xn square similarly if you differentiate u1 with respect to x n minus 1 del u1 with respect to del x n minus 1 finally it will become minus x1 by xn square and del xn by del x n minus 1 and it is what it is x1 by xn square similarly if you differentiate other functions uk so uk is equal to xk by xn square so you will get del uk by del x1 is equal to xk by xn square so this is xk by xn so xk by xn square del uk by del x2 is equal to xk by xn square and all except del uk by del xk will be 1 by xk xn square xk plus xn this will be for all k k is equal to 1 through n minus 1 so now let us put these things in jacobian so jacobian of u1 u2 un with respect to x1 x2 un minus 1 xn minus 1 so these are n minus 1 functions and n minus 1 variables so we will get n minus 1 by n minus 1 determinant so first will be x1 plus xn by xn square then x1 by xn square then again x1 by xn square and finally this will be n minus 1 times x1 by xn square then you will get x2 by xn square x2 by xn square and x2 plus 
एक्शन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर एक्स टू बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर एंड एन माइनस वन टाइम्स एक्स टू बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर सिमिलरली एक्स थ्री बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर एक्स थ्री बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर एक्स थ्री बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर एक्स थ्री प्लस एक्शन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर एंड एन माइनस वन टाइम्स एक्स थ्री बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर सो फाइनल लेट अस फाइट दी राइट दी फाइनल रो सो फाइनल रो विल बी एक्शन माइनस वन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर एक्शन माइनस वन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर दिस विल एन माइनस टू टाइम्स एक्शन एंड फाइनली वी विल हैव द लास्ट एक्शन माइनस वन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर एंड लास्ट टर्म विल बी एक्शन माइनस वन प्लस एक्शन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर सो एज ए फर्स्ट थिंग वट यू कैन डू इज टेक वन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर कॉमन फ्रॉम ऑल द एन माइनस वन रोज सो यू विल गेट दिस इज एन माइनस वन क्रॉस एन माइनस वन सो टेक वन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर कॉमन सो आई दर टेक फ्रॉम ऑल रोज और फ्रॉम ऑल कॉमन कॉलम्स सो इट विल वन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर टू दावर एन माइनस वन सो वी विल गेट द जेकोबियन जेकोबियन दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एक्शन स्क्वायर एंड इट्स पावर एन माइनस वन वाट आर द रिमेनिंग एंट्रीज दैट आर एक्स वन प्लस एक्स एन देन एक्स वन एक्स वन एक्स वन देन एक्स टू एक्स टू प्लस एक्स एन एक्स टू एंड एक्स टू एंड इन दिस फैशन लेट मी राइट वन मोर रो एक्स थ्री एक्स थ्री x3 थ्री प्लस एक्स एन एंड एक्स थ्री सिमिलरली एक्स एन माइनस वन एक्स एन माइनस वन एक्स एन माइनस वन एक्स एन माइनस वन प्लस एक्स एन दिस विल बी लास्ट एंट्री सो नाउ वाट कैन यू डू वी नो दैट वी हैव अ रिलेशन एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स एन इज इक्वल टू वन सो टेक सम ऑफ ऑल दी रोज मीन्स आर वन कैन बी रिटर्न एज आर वन प्लस आर टू प्लस आर थ्री प्लस आर एन वाट विल दिस इल यू कैन सी एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री प्लस एक्स वन माइनस वन प्लस एक्स वन दैट ऑल विल कम इन फर्स्ट रो इन एट ईच एलिमेंट्री पोजिशन सो ईट ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ द फर्स्ट रो विल बिकम दिस सम दिस सम and means 1 so we will get we will get 1 by x n to the power 2 n minus 2 and the determinant is 1 1 1 1 n minus 1 by n minus 1 so keep it remembered so this and then sorry the first element yes then x2 and x2 plus xn and x2 x2 and in this fashion x3 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 plus xn x3 and finally xn minus 1 xn minus 1 xn minus 1 xn minus 1 plus xn so now what you can do take the column operations what are the column operations these column operations c2 c2 minus c1 c3 c3 minus c1 and in general ck ck minus c1 for all k for all k from 2 to n minus 1 so this all will be reduced to zero so check what will be this 1 minus 1 is zero this x2 
minus x2 here will be xn this x3 minus x3 will be 0 this x1 minus 1 minus x1 minus will be 0 so for the second column all the elements will be 0 except the 2 by 2 second position here will be xn so what will remain this will remain this will remain in the second column and every other entry will become zero so let us you take the benefit of the same thing the same will happen in all rows in third row this will remain in last row this will remain so the matrix that we will obtain will be determinant that we obtain will be 1 by x n to the power 2 n minus 2 and 1 0 0 0 0 then 0 x n 0 0 0 0 0 x n 0 0 and finally the last row 0 0 0 and x n now you can open this determinant and this is x n to the power n minus 2 why n minus 2 because this determinant is of order n minus 1 n minus 1 means there are n minus 1 rows so first element is 1 so the rest element are n minus 2 so n minus 2 divided by x n to the power 2 n minus 2 and finally you have calculated jacobian of u1 u2 u n minus 1 with respect to x1 x2 xn minus 1 to be 1 by x n to the power n so this is how we calculate jacobians and how we define jacobians we through this lecture i hope you have learned how we define jacobians and how do we find them at the last of the lecture i again revise that if you are interested to know how the jacobians arise and what are jacobians i have a separate lecture understanding the jacobians so you can go to that lecture and understand what are the jacobians in this lecture i hope you have uh, learn how to define and how to calculate jacobians in the next lectures i will discuss the properties of jacobians there are four important properties of jacobians and i will make individual four lectures with sufficient number of problems in each so keep connected and watch the uh, properties of jacobians and applications of jacobians thank you